Well, now to Donald Trump in a tense and combative question and answer session this afternoon with the Republican presidential candidate who was interviewed at a convention for the National Association of Black Journalists in Chicago. The reporters from a variety of news outlets focused on race in the United States. Trump, well, he made a lot of false statements during the interview, including suggesting that Vice President Kamala Harris just recently started to identify as black. I want to use anchor Sandra Bookman is here with a whole lot more. Sandra. Yeah, Liz, you might call the former president's appearance at the National Association of Black Journalists Convention vintage Trump. He refused to answer questions about past racist rhetoric, questioned the heritage of his opponent, Vice President Kamala Harris, and awkwardly explained how migrants are taking so-called black jobs. I have been the best president for the black population since Abraham Lincoln. She was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. Coming from the border are millions and millions of people that happen to be taking black jobs. You had the best what exactly is a black job, sir? A black job is anybody that has a job. That's what it is. Anybody that has a job. All right. Uh, the former president has been aggressively courting the African-American vote, hoping to slowly diminish a traditional Democratic stronghold. Whether he made any headway with this appearance today is up for debate. Uh, Vice President Kamala Harris, we're told, was invited but unable to attend because of prior commitments. Her campaign saying just moments ago that Mr. Trump showed on stage today exactly who he is and renewed calls for him to accept a debate on September 10th. The White House called Mr. Trump's comments today, quote, repulsive and insulting. Back to you at the desk.